visit again soon. And keep a close watch on your coin. Anna Ashworth, curator of the Royal Conservatory. For a while, I believed Ashworth had some connection to the occult in Karnaka. Something is happening that I don't understand. The overseers are the forward face of the Abbey, but equally important are our sisters from the Oracular Order. To be direct, I suspect something is wrong within their sect. Subtle changes to the types of proclamations they've been making. Small but troubling deviations from tradition. But publicly saying anything along those lines will get me accused of heresy by my rivals within the Abbey. Is it possible that Ashworth has infiltrated the Oracular Order? So Vice Overseer Byrne thinks Ashworth is interfering with the Oracular Order. If true, it's another reason she has to be eliminated. officer came by and said it was fine. He looked at the wall of light, then climbed up to check the windmill. All good. Why? Yesterday, the wind kicked up so hard I thought the windmill was gonna fall apart. The wall of light was flickering and sparking like crazy. I've seen that too. But whale oil's expensive now, and the tanks run dry. The wind's unpredictable, but it's still better than a bunch of howlers running through the checkpoint and knifing us to death. Yeah, I see your point. <laughs>
be something nice. Something no one else has thought of. Maybe something we go with it too. Did anyone ever find out what happened to Pearlton and Lieutenant Culver's? They probably ran off, you ask me. Must have had a thing for each other. No, she went missing a day before he did. And someone found an officer's pistol in the gutter. I think something else happened. Maybe they went inside the conservatory. Look, Karnak is leaking people. We tell ourselves we're keeping it together, but everyone is afraid of what will happen when it really falls apart. this shuddering city. Brianna Ashworth would have been miserable as a member of high society, forced to win some bloated baker. Her only moments of real freedom, getting drunk at fancy balls, and slipping away to couple with strangers. It would have ended in an unhappy marriage and a late night plunge into an icy river. But, just before mother and father married her off, so many years ago, she found Delilah instead. It was all highways and graveyards after that, never looking back. Vice Overseer Byrne is an ambitious man, but he believes in the Abbey's mission, protecting the good people of the Empire against the likes of us. You know he'd be happier deep down if this ended with Brianna Ashworth's head on a spike, maybe yours as well.
Melinda. You look great. Enrico said to give you his regards. That donkey-faced Cretan can open his wrist for all I care. Did you bring me something? The silver cigarette case, like we agreed? No, listen. I can't go on doing this. Stealing for you. I'll lose my job. Do you want to be a servant all your life? You're always talking about leaving Karnaka on a big white boat, never to come back. You spend your days polishing silver cutlery. Come with me, Beatrix. Let's leave. Could we really get passage on a ship? What if they find us? You know I'll protect you, just like when we were kids. I'll think about it. I promise. Dear Stomach, I have received your request and agree that dinner time cannot come quickly enough. Unfortunately, we are still on duty. I will get back to you if I... Conservatory. What do those walls hide? Shit! 
some of you have questions, questions restrict your mind to the new tax tax levy levied by the Grand 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 I asked him to double the, the number, number of, of mine workers, mine workers. And he did it, and he did no it. Question. No question, no complaints. No complaints. Karnaka needed miners, and he produced them. Out of thin air! That's the Sirconia spirit. That's what we need. Yeah, the water gets nasty sometimes. It flows from the fountain to the conservatory basement. There was work there, but there's a grate missing. Maybe some animal crawled in there and died. Disgusting. You think someone inside the conservatory would complain? The place is mostly shut, but somebody's still inside. There was a delivery from Jindosh Clockworks a few days back. Whatever they're doing, I'd be happier if the gate wasn't so close to that fountain. Conservatory. Built around the time I left for Dunwall.
so annoying. The smell, the constant noise. At least they keep the curious away. Our mistress likes them where they are, so you'll have to tolerate them. Yes, but sometimes I want to smash them into a bloody pulp, just to enjoy the silence. Is this a riddle? We're talking about the Grand Guard, right? Not the lovely blood flies. Of course. The blood flies adore us. We should find more of the newly dead, so they can make new nests. Then I agree. But dear Brianna wants us to wait until after the communion. Until she's finished with the oracular sisters. We can't risk raising suspicion now. Then for now we'll wait, content with the nests we have. Ashworth's journal might tell me more about why Delilah can't be killed. After Delilah fell to the assassin Dowd, her magic was lost, and the coven scattered. I made a new life in Karnaka. Then I heard her whispering from the void, leading me to the Duke, who heard those same whispers. Together we worked to bring Delilah back into the world, changing the Empire from the home of Aramis Stilton three years ago. Across the Isles, all of us who'd been with her at Brigmore and before, we felt the magic return. Others joined. New faces, new blood. Now, Delilah is immortal. Forever. She holds Dunwall, and we've turned to corrupting the oracular order. The overseers take guidance from their prophetic sisters, and soon we'll influence their dreams and visions. 